Adam Smith asked me how to get the music to play through all the scenes. No problem. We need to use global notes, which is also called autoloads in the Gadoo engine. Hey, but what is an autoload? Great question. It's when you automatically load something. <laughs> Let's use an example. First, we need to create a music controller that will be playing our music. This will be a Gadoo scene and it must be independent of the current scene. Both of them need to have a connection with the main loop, which is the tree. That's why you need to use get tree change scene to blah 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 to change the scene. We can have for example level 1 or level 100, but we can't have two main scenes. That's why we will use autoloads functionality, which will automatically load our music controller. Autoloads won't change when we will switching the scenes. Using this method, the scenes won't stop or reset the music data between the switch. Here is a short description from the documentation what this object can do. Making a long story short, they are pretty useful. I also use them in my game Dungeon Rescuer. I encourage you to play it. It's time to practice. Here we have two scenes with the player from my last tutorial how to switch scenes using door or portal. So if you want to know how to do it, give a try. Let's add the music controller scene in the new folder Autoload. The root node of this scene will be a basic node and inside let's add audio stream player, which is a node for playing the music. I prepared here two music files from my game Hammer King. Let's load Bethlehem music and write a function to play it. When you load the music file, it will be a stream for audio stream player by default, so it's very easy to use. Next, let's also change the name for the root node and add a full scene to autoloads. In this way you can see on the remote panel, which is your live representation of the main tree, that the music controller is loaded. The final step is to add a script to our level to start the music. As you can see, we don't have a pause between scenes and the music is playing independently. Bonus! We can add more function in the music controller for better understanding. For example, let's change the music on the right side of the door and turn down the volume on the left side of the door. We need new functions in the music controller script for playing and turning down the volume. triggers, which will be a RIA 2D with collision shapes. Signals to the screen scripts, which will use the music controller functions.
And that's all for this tutorial. I also want thanks for Pixelfrog for sharing these great assets, they are for free. And of course to thanks you for watching and support. Like if you like it, dislike if you didn't, and have a great day, night and so on.